Well, good morning everyone. It is early February. I'm here at Pelican Lake in the Brainerd Lakes area. I know there's a lot of Pelican Lakes in Minnesota. This is the one right uh, near Brainerd in uh, Crow Wing County. I'm here fishing with Reggie today. He's in the truck back there. My name's Randy. We're watching Go Midwest Fishing. All right, we're in the landing on the very south end of the lake. And uh, there's a lot of snow out here. So we've been fishing the Brainerd area and there's a lot of snow on the uh, ice here. So we're trying to follow the plowed roads as much as possible. So we haven't been able to explore as much of the lake as we want. I think the same is gonna be true for here. So we're just gonna stay on the road and maybe go where the other shacks are because it's really hard to get anywhere else. All right, quick look at the map here we got Landing's right there where we came on at. And there seems to be a bunch of shacks right out here and kind of right over here. And there's a road going out there, so we'll see how far that goes. Not sure if we're going to make it up into this part. Unless they uh, plowed it all the way through. Alright, there's two humps right there, right in the middle. It says 30 feet. And there's a few other shacks over here. So, well, it's not too far off the landing, so we thought we'd try this. Alright, this first spot, so it's over 30 feet deep here, and we haven't seen anything on the cameras at all. So, we're gonna think, move it down. We've actually had some luck this week in the shallower areas, even though it's February and it's supposed to be out deep. Should be every morning you put your thing down when you see a northern, so. Yep. Oh. All right, we found a, a road that it took us most kind of way down the lake. And there's like a little, you see all these shacks right here? There's like, so it's super deep, like 60 some feet of water right there. And there's this little saddle right down where all these shacks are. So we're right up on top of this little saddle in like 12 feet of water, but we just drilled a hole back there and it was 20 some feet of water. So you can see it comes up real steep right here and it's only like six feet or something. If we keep going forward a little more. So, um, saw a few little perch. So I think I'm gonna throw out a tip up here. I got all these extra minnows that uh, it's our last day here and I gotta use them up, so. Maybe Northern will come through. Got him. Oh yeah, monster. Monster perch down there. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, at least there's fish here. That first spot, there wasn't any fish. Fish outside. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. Look at that. While we're waiting for some pike, we'll watch some river monsters where he's catching some pike. So far, just a uh, bunch of little perch. I haven't seen any big fish yet. Walleye! Walleye! Walleye uh, to swim in, right? I think he's heading towards you. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's swimming back around. Oh, I see him in the background. Yep, right behind my bait. Oh, there's a walleye. It wasn't big enough to take that big sucker minnow back there. He's huge. You never know. Turn off Jeremy Wade for a second here so you can see. 
you see it on camera, he just came in, kind of circled my bait, and kind of went back out. He went out back there towards the sucker minnow. Yeah, he's just making us just learn, wander on through. Never really stopped to look at anything. Well, that was cool anyway. Gives you hope that there are, you know, walleye circling up into this area. He's back. He's coming Which in. Go? Which way? He's coming for mine. No, wait, that's a dark, dark spot. I got him! Oh, oh, he really's got him! I see him going up! <laughs> Tiny jig. Yep. With that little tiny minnow. There we go. Smile. <laughs> Walleye. Yeah. Just dump him down your hole when you're done. Yeah, he's not real big, but uh, he's like 15 inches maybe. Yeah, I'll give 14 him that. inches. Got a tape measure here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get him All right, the there he is. Get him back. Walleye came swimming through in uh, about 13 feet of water. There you go. All right, maybe our spot doesn't suck. No, it's a good spot after all, maybe. Check out that homemade table. <laughs> oh, where's he going? We just kept our burgers in the grill the whole time. It's cold enough outside. Ah, light. I smell propane, so it's coming out. Yeah. You get your lighter. Well, here's the shacks next to us. When it's this white out, it's really hard to drive because you can't see what you're getting into. You can see right here, it ain't, it ain't too deep, but um, when you get going, you dig down a little bit and then it gives you some trouble. See if Reggie can blow himself up. See, here's the, you know, how thick the crust is. And then you sink down below that too. There's minnows stuck in there too. <laughs> yeah, Alright, it's lit. Yeah. Did you check the temperature lately? Yeah. I think it was about 10 degrees when we got out here, which is actually pretty nice, but then it's steadily dropping through the day. It's going to get below zero again tonight. And uh, the wind is kind of making it miserable. Back inside here where it's nice and toasty warm. That's better. Nice and about 70 degrees in here. Nice little makeshift table Reggie brought. Works pretty good. May have to install one of these. Alright, almost done. Sizzling. Looking good. So this is kind of where we want to head. That guy showed up, so... Let's see, right about in there. There's a little... You can kind of see the land. Comes to a point right there. Alright, there's dinner in the shack. <coughs> Got McGruber over here making uh, plates out of chip bags. <laughs> so we forgot all our silverware and plates and everything, but don't really need it. I added a little barbecue chip to mine to spice it up. Mm. There we go. There's dinner. Five feet. Ooh, there's fish down there. Oh, that was oh. a cool spot. Scared me. Caught that. Caught we're this. We're going under. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got fish in the fish finder. Yeah. All right, spot number three on Pelican. Uh, we're the only ones out here, but it looked like an awesome spot on the map. Kind of got this like little horseshoe and uh, looks like kind of where they're all getting corralled in here and i uh, just put down the fish finder and so found some fish but it was a struggle getting out here here's our tracks coming out here i don't know if that shows up it's so bright out here but uh yeah <laughs> i wasn't too sure about if we we're gonna make it out here but i think i found a good spot so let's hope it is Reggie's building an air dam here, trying to block the wind from going underneath. All right, let's go fish. Oh yeah! Ooh, ooh. ooh the walleye! 
think it's a walleye. It's a big one. Oh, big fish. Oh, another one. Two big walleyes. This billy's terrible down there, though. It's stuff floating all over. Hopefully it's a... Oh, another one. Are those suckers? What the heck are those? I don't know. Catch one. They're swimming everywhere. Here comes another one. <laughs> yeah, there's like five of them down there. They're big, whatever they are. They might be suckers. Coming up to the camera. What is it? It's a s it's suckers. Whole bunch of suckers. Well, that's what's nice about having the camera. According to my fish finding, there's a whole bunch of huge fish down there, and now we know they're suckers. Well, I'm not sure this hole's gonna work out. We saw a whole pile of suckers. And then drill the hole up higher up, I don't know, it's probably 10 feet over there. And it was just pure sand, so I think it's on a big sandbar over here. And since we're the only ones fishing over here, it's probably not very good. So I think we're going to head back to where all the other shacks are. There's not a whole lot of shacks out here, I was kind of surprised. But uh, we'll maybe get on one of the roads and get closer to where other people are fishing. Some driving around we ended up kind of back towards the landing again there's a bunch of shacks right here not a whole lot but uh, we're in 28 feet of water and there's a 20 foot hump right behind us so we're trying to go on that but there's a shack sitting directly on top of it and the guy shows up as soon as I go over there looking for it oh we got something moving in here what? big something big yeah look at this shadow back here two of them oh. Oh, it looks like northerns. Oh, I probably got no battery. Yeah, they are. Oh, it's following your camera up. Oh. Check out your hole. Ah. One went off and one followed your camera up. Yeah, he's one's back there. I just faintly see a. He's still there. All right, that's good. Floating around. Looks like it, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't go too far. Nope, it's going up again. He's following your camera. <laughs> Should be right by your camera. Oh, Jesus, right there. Nope. <laughs> he literally just like nose into the camera. Oh, oh, oh. I got one right by my camera. Look at this. Northern? Yep. He's looking at it. Oh, nice. Oh, he's going to bite it, too. He's over by yours. All right. Hopefully we'll see him in a second. Well, there he is. He's looking at it. He's like, I ain't fooled by that. Nope, he didn't like it. There he goes. Oh, he's swimming way fast, too. We're going to call her a night here. Uh, we just fished Gull Lake. If you want to see that one, it's right up here. Or if you want to see the uh, rest of the lakes we fished in Minnesota, check out the playlist right there.